It is now that we see a new chapter in this war, as now the entire world is involved in one way or another. We see a whole lot of these Oceanic Isles saying, you know what, we're just going to join this war on the blue team because we are heavily allied to the blue team and we don't know who half the red team members are. And we basically see the powers of Europe telling Africa, our side or their side, your choice. And yeah, most of Southern Africa, Central Africa, all decided they were going to join the Allies. But uh, all these these Northern and some Central countries were like, mm mm mm. And we also see Iran going completely insane as they try and take over everything and everyone. And we see Mexico and Brazil declaring war on the Americas, which is something the U.S. and Canada did not see coming. We do, however, have four countries stating that they will forever be neutral. This, these include Ireland, Switzerland, Chad, and Madagascar. Have all four vouched to forever be neutral, no matter the consequences. And now we see Russia and China gathering up most of their forces for a full-scale invasion of Europe. All right, boys, they haven't noticed us yet. You think we push in? Yeah, I think it's pretty safe to do that. All right, well, you know the drill. Fire! <laughs> well, that was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, that ain't all we got, boys. Fire! <laughs> uh, oh, this is not good. Reinforcements! Yeah, that ain't all we had either, boys. Fire! <laughs> okay, we gotta do something. Fire! Okay, you want to call it truce for now? Yeah, I guess. <sighs> Wait, what the heck? We said truce, dang it. That wasn't us. It must have been some other country. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Iran, what the heck? Heh, <laughs> well, let's just say I've never liked either side of this war. Now it's time that we unleash all of our fury. Fire! Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Grenade! Okay, maybe, maybe we think twice before invading Europe. That was a pretty tough fight. So we have Russia taking over all of Western Europe and even retaking Serbia. And Armenia. However, we have Iran taking the western occupied Iraq and Syria, and even taking most of Central Asia. We also see China taking back North Korea, and all of the countries that they had lost in Southeast Asia. It is here that Switzerland decides to make a big decision and declare war on the Red Team, as they said they are sick of being neutral and they think it is now finally their time to shine. They've declared war on Russia and their allies to gain some glory for themselves. You can't defeat the Swiss military, boys! Yeah, that's right, boys. We unstoppable. Switzerland's many decades of building up power for staying neutral has been unleashed in all its fury as they take back pretty much all of the Russian occupied territory. We have the blue team also helping out Switzerland and taking back some territory for themselves. And now Russia is a little scared because Switzerland is now probably like the sixth strongest country in the world because they've been building up their military for so long and hadn't told anyone. And now Russia was being a little, you know, careful with what they do and what they say to Switzerland because Switzerland was pretty powerful. However, now Switzerland decided to go on their own path as they declare war on Iran. You're dead to us, Iran. Oh, really? Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Yeah, get wrecked. Switzerland isn't nothing to joke about anymore. And now Switzerland stuns the entire world by single-handedly defeating Iran and all of their occupied territories in Central Asia and the Middle East. It was now that Every big power in the world, including Russia, China, India, and even the United States were getting a little bit worried. 
Speaking of America, let's see how the war in the Americas is going. Okay, yeah, that happened pretty fast. It is now that we see a historic moment for Switzerland, as they officially join the war on the side of the blue team, officially claiming all of these areas under blue team control. And we also see a lot of their allies following suit, with Chad and Madagascar both joining the blue team. Except for Ireland, who put their own goals over relations as they attempt to declare war on the United Kingdom to get Northern Ireland back. Yeah, that's usually what happens when you declare war on the United Kingdom. We now see the Russian and Chinese military actually getting their game up as they take South Korea, Japan, the Philippines, Malaysia, Singapore, Brunei, Thailand, and Cambodia, as well as Nepal and Bhutan. And now it's looking like these guys are nothing to mess with. Elsewhere, however, they're doing pretty good, as Northern Africa reliberates Egypt, Eritrea and Djibouti finally join the team on the red team, and, well, they take out a whole lot of African countries. A whole lot of the countries over here were really weak, but they also do re-liberate re South Sudan, as it was once captured by the blue team. However, the blue team has captured pretty much the rest of the East African Federation. And now, it's looking like the war is at a standstill. The United States now has plans to, to put a new government in pretty much every single one of the Red Team members. Basically saying that, uh, well, they w basically preventing another war from ever happening like this again. Which is basically just turning the entire world pro-Western, which uh, doesn't seem too nice when you say it like that. But, uh, well, they're preventing any further world wars from happening, because I'm pretty sure this has probably killed close to a billion people already. To be continued on Real World What If, What If World War Three Begun. Finally, after all these years, after so much trial and error, Russia's super weapon, the antimatter bomb, is complete. <laughs> This is the end. According to my calculations, this thing should be about 25 times more destructive than even the Tsar Bomba. And even that is probably an understatement. As far as Russia is concerned, if we drop this nuke on the United States successfully, then it'll be the end of the world. And Russia will finally win a world war. Getting it close enough to the United States to drop it, however, is going to be a problem. But I think I have an idea.